What's going on everybody? We are back at it and uh, feels really good. Got down to Florida a few days ago. Um, sitting here at camp, you can see the truck and boat behind me. Staying in the back of the truck. Show that little setup here. But just kind of getting everything organized and set to be the most efficient that I can be while I'm out here. And we got a couple weeks until the Kissimmee event starts. So first couple days being down here, I got out, did a little bit of fishing. I tried to do some vlog stuff, but really just honestly, it ended up not being very interesting. So uh, first bass of 2022 was an 8.42 on the Rapala scale. And so that was a blast. It really caught me off guard. I was rusty, felt like I didn't know how to set the hook and that thing came up and jumped and I freaked out. And super disappointed because I actually pressed my GoPro prior to catching that fish and I thought I got it all on camera. I was talking to it. I caught it on a biospun, exo stick, all that stuff and it was just perfect. But my GoPro decided to freeze up on me. So we've been dinkering around with some technology, these new things. I got the new GoPro, new computer, making sure everything works. Just ran into Orlando for a business meeting that I ended up, uh, or I was down there this morning and uh, for some other stuff that I'm working on outside of fishing to try to generate some uh, extra cash flowing in that I can do while I'm on the road. So super fun, super awesome, exciting things to come hopefully this year, but we are at camp and kind of taking the day off. I wanted to run around and do a few things today. I got a ton of groceries. I was with Josh and Bree uh, the past couple days. They were actually at the same campground and we are, uh, they left, they're going back down south a little more uh, to go do some fun fishing. Josh has been doing some pre-practice for the elite events coming up here in Florida on the St. John's and the Harris Chain. So we are at the Harris Chain right now, fishing around there, and uh, just got some groceries. So we're gonna be making some lunch here and uh, testing out some new uh, cooking equipment that uh, my gal pal Hannah got me. So looking forward to that. It's kind of the first time I'm really using it, so gonna keep it cheap this year. That's the goal. Um, you know, cooking meals, getting groceries, those times when you stop by somewhere like a fast food joint or go to a restaurant, get a beer, get a meal, whatever, all that adds up so much. And that's something that I've struggled with in the past to try to, when I'm on my own, have a system. And when I'm with Josh and Bree, Brie is the best and keeps me fed and kicking. So um, that works out really well. But this year, I'm not going to have them uh, around for the opens. So I needed to kind of come up with something. Hannah gifted me a sweet little setup. She's a little uh, nomad as well and goes on some trips all by herself camping around. She got me a cool little butane stove, some cooking supplies. Um, and so I'm gonna test it out now. So we'll show you guys. I just got like chicken and rice and beef and rice and like super quick, easy stuff, but it's gonna be healthier, it's gonna be cheaper. And that is the goal. So looking forward to things. Today, kind of off day, hanging around camp, getting a few things dialed in. Gonna mess around with this vlog on some editing software. I've been watching YouTube videos on how to work Final Cut Pro and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully we can just learn as we go. And but yeah, so we're gonna cook some food and see how it all goes from there. So we'll catch you guys while we're setting up and cooking. This is so funny to me. I've just never done this, honestly. Like I, I go camping all the time, but like I've got it pretty easy. I don't have to cook. I just, I just camp in my truck. I sleep in my truck. And so this is it. It's a little Coleman butane stove. I got the butane canister. I can throw on the side there. It's just a quick little start. So, um, but these little pots and pans, let me just put that in perspective. I don't, I don't got big hands, but they're perfect. It's just kind of, it's awesome. This just cracks me up. So, um, got a pot. I'm going to boil rice in. Uh, I've used these pans actually somewhere that I stayed with somebody's last year. And so they're, the pans are used because we didn't have any pans in the cabin. But I'll uh, put some chicken or some beef on here. I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to choose. But sorry, the camera works bad. But yeah, just throw it on there. Go to work. So let's do this. Should be fun. Have a little lunch time. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. <laughs> well, we got it going. 
This one that sizzle. Got some different spices in there and got it going. It's a little windy, so I had to block it. But um, yeah, got some Doritos, some rice. We're cooking. We're ready. I'm hungry. But yeah, this is fun. Update. We moved it to the back of the truck because the wind's coming from that direction. So now it's cooking a little bit better for the rice. So made some barricades. But <laughs> yeah, I'm having fun with this, honestly. This is a blast. So I'm excited to continue to do this. Every once in a while the wind will blow the fire out, but this is like the last really windy day. Yesterday we had some storms roll through and um, uh, so now it's just kinda, today was a good day to get some other work done. And because of the wind, it's blowing like 15 to 20 or something like that today. And don't get me wrong, I'm not opposed to going out in it, especially in a tournament or something like that. But if I were to pick a day to get some other things done, I think today was a good day and I needed to go get groceries and stuff like that and uh, now that Josh and Bree are gone because they were feeding me the past couple days so that was nice but it is over so we are back to cooking our own meals and that's just the little briefcase suitcase that this grill goes in but um, yeah it's cool little butane stove get to cook right in front of the truck like that like, look at this it's kind of working out pretty good actually. I got a little seat with the trailer, so. But yeah, we'll catch you guys later. Really, this is just kind of like a intro vlog to the camping lifestyle. Um, probably see some more stuff like this, but I want to mess, I want to get like a good little base of footage so that I can now uh, start editing and playing with the new software. So this is what you guys get to watch me do. Talking to the camera, cooking some food and uh, I don't know, we'll see what it comes up with. It might be pretty basic again, but uh, at least I'll have something to start messing around. And uh, hopefully we'll get some good fish catches and fishing vlogs and all that up to the tournament. And then we'll start fishing, practicing, and filming for the tournament videos. So looking forward to it. Stay tuned, I'll show you the final product. It's gonna be rice, ground beef. And if you haven't tried the Chipotle flavored Tabasco, if you know, you know, but if not, you should find out because that stuff is dank and I could live off that for the only sauce or seeds, like only touch up to food forever. So <laughs> try it out. Well, it's nothing fancy, but I tell you what, it's pretty good. I haven't tried it yet. I'm just assuming it's pretty good because I've done a lot of stuff like this, but there it is. Tabasco, ground beef with seasoning in it, and white rice. That's like meal prepping for bodybuilding. So we're bodybuilding to go fishing and try to catch some big old bass and hoist them, hoist them high. But, uh, <coughs> yep, that's that. <laughs> so we're gonna mix that together. I got a spork and this is lunch, so sorry, I just got really close to the camera. But this is what we're doing. We're gonna eat it like a little stir fry. So yeah, we'll catch you later. <laughs> Update: I made too much rice, and now my phone's ringing. But yeah, pretty solid. Happy with the new setup. All right, so that's that. I am fed. I learned how much rice not to make because I scarfed that down and I am very full. <laughs> but uh, got a little sponge, some eco-friendly camp soap that Hannah got me, and some dirty dishes. So at the bathrooms they have like a, uh, I think it's honestly for like giving your dog a bath, but I might also wash my my dishes there. <laughs> I'm not really sure. But uh yeah. Camp soap, sponge, and some kind of high powered spray so I can uh do that, that way. But 
that's that you guys honestly i just thought i'd make this little vlog again for fun because i'm gonna mess with my editing software learn a few things on there hopefully the rest of the day and uh maybe be a little more equipped for when i start filming actual fishing vlogs and uh plan is to hopefully do that asap but if you guys haven't seen this is the new boat wrap we got the sims Daiwa wrap it's a cx line sims cx based wrap uh you can kind of see like the little like that's like part on like the cx suits and stuff like that but otherwise everything's pretty much the same same boat i'm running um that i have the past couple of years uh and so i have i got to leave all the same decals i'm fortunate enough to work with the same companies kind of same setup might have a few things to add on once um over these next couple weeks or months um and but we got active target on here gonna be messing around with scout mode some more at the front graph up here but we're rigged and ready and uh should be a good time i'm looking forward to really putting my head down now and just i got everything done that i can think of right now that i need to have done outside of fishing so now i get to focus on that and uh get back in the swing of things and really just kind of work up to starting practice for the Kissimmee chain i'm excited and i'm gonna put the work in and we're gonna see where it goes but we're gonna go wash dishes hang out at camp in the back of the truck it's pretty cool out as you can see i'm in like a jacket and uh it's really windy today so that definitely helps with cooling things down and i got kind of a good sight i mean look at that i got that tree making it kind of shady over here i have stayed here in the past uh, at this campground and i'm always in the baking sun so it's hard to like chill in the truck and stuff like that during that but uh you know i'm happy with the setup it feels good to be back at it we got a whole new system this year i'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys and uh thanks for tuning in definitely subscribe we're gonna hopefully be stepping it up a notch here this year so we'll catch you later tight lines